Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. It is just me starting today's video. I always feel so strange on this channel when I start the videos without James because we literally start them together every time and we do our little hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, but I thought I would just get today's video going. Usually in the morning, it's currently, what's the time? Oh my gosh, it's 11 o'clock already. Wow, this morning has gone slowly. Um, usually we do a dog walk together in the morning, but my eczema has been so bad lately. Um, I had like a massive flare up on my chest area, which seems to be ever since I've gotten pregnant, I think it might be the fact that my boobs have grown even bigger than they were before. Uh, I'm flaring up a lot more in my sort of chest boob area. Um, and when we went away on our little trip around Wales and we didn't do like any dog walks, we didn't go to the gym, um, cause we didn't have Mila or anything, my eczema like completely disappeared. So I do know that sweat is a really big trigger for my eczema. Um, and we do do an hour long, over an hour long dog walk every single day. And I love going on them. So I'm gutted that I couldn't go this morning, but I was like, I need to put my skin first. It's flaring up even more during pregnancy. So I'm just gonna let it settle a bit today. So I decided not to go on the walk. So James and Mila are currently out on a dog walk and they're gonna be back in about 20 minutes. James just texted me saying he's back in about 20 minutes. Um, and we've got loads of exciting things planned for today, but I thought I would give you guys a bit of a bump update whilst I'm up here in my dressing room. Yeah, I am now 23 weeks, I think. And my bump is definitely definitely popping out. I feel like it's popping out more and more um, every day at the moment, uh, but I absolutely love it. I love the little shape of it. It just feels like so round and like a proper pregnancy belly, which um, I absolutely love because I just love the fact that I'm pregnant. And what was I gonna say? Oh yes, that my bump is huge, but I had spoken about this on Instagram, but I don't think I'd spoken about it on here, um, that when we went to our last scan, they did mention that I had a bit of extra fluid. And they said, I can't remember what the centimeters were, but I had like four times the amount of fluid or something. They said it wasn't a concern at all at this point, but extra fluid can mean bigger bump. So that could be the reason that I've got such a big bump and have had such a big bump. And the other thing to say was I'm starting to feel loads more movements now. So I'm so excited. And I thought I'd show you guys some things that arrived. I don't know why I'm whispering. Um, the other day which are making us so excited. We've, got, we've honestly had so many deliveries of the things that we ordered from Mamas and Papas. But little swaddles, look at that. Little blanket. Sheets, very practical. And all these little things have started arriving, like the little toys and the little, um, the prams arrived, like loads of stuff has arrived. Uh, and it was really sweet <laughs> the other day. James, I'm gonna shut the door because I always get really awkward vlogging on my own, especially because we've got a kitchen renovation going on and there's builders working downstairs. I feel like they must think I'm just talking to myself <laughs> when I'm vlogging away. James was um, like putting all the pram and everything in the car seat, um, sorry, the pram and the car seat and everything in the garage the other day. And he was like, it's literally just hit me that we're having a baby in four months. Like I could see it on his face, like it really kicked in for him and it was really special moment, I feel, um, sort of getting all that stuff. And I think it made it really, really, really real for him, which is really nice because for me, I'm feeling movements all the time. I'm touching my bump. Um, so for James, I feel like, I don't know, that part really made it feel very real um, and exciting for him because it's April the 3rd is our due date. So it is coming up and it will go super quick after Christmas. Okay, this is what happens when I vlog on my own. I'm talking way too much. James and Mila will be home soon. They're back! <laughs> and wet! Wet! Oh, Mila! She... Look at her, this is what happens. She gets way too excited. Calm. Calm. We are not having crazy zoomies today. Not right what now. What are you even sitting on? You're sitting on a plug. Stay in your bed. I know it's very exciting because I didn't come on the walk and you're probably really confused. And you're like, where have you been, ma'am? We no, lost you. This is a normal. Boo, normal don't act like this is normal. It's not. How was your walk? Yeah, lovely, thank you. It's a kind of a, it's a very kind of day. Yeah, it's a walking attire. It's a bit matching, isn't it? Matching, <laughs> you know? All right, I'm here, I'm here. Gosh. Good girl, yeah. Just get me as wet as you can with my grey leggings as well. How's was... everyone like my room set up? Oh, I know. And we're getting our new sofa today. <gasps> Can't believe I've got forgot to mention that. Yeah, that's the whole point. We're getting a big 
new sofa today, which isn't going to fit in this space. Yeah, so we, gosh, I feel like we've gone over these kind of ideas and plans a million times, but next door was kind of meant to be our massive snug cinema yeah. room, we were calling it. It could be, we're just a bit up in the air at the moment. We are literally discussing always. every option, aren't yeah. we, about this house and where we're going to put things. But basically we ordered our dream sofa, which we wanted like oh, two years ago. Off. I put these Christmas chocolates out, guys. James has literally munched his way through so many of them. But putting chocolate out on a table is just detrimental to my We'll have health. to buy more today when we go out. Yeah, so we basically love this sofa and we were like, no matter what, we just want this sofa in our life. So we've ordered that. It took 12 weeks to come. It's coming today. It's like the most exciting thing ever. But we measured last night because we're going to put it in this room, even though we were thinking of putting it in the other room, which is actually smaller than this room. Um, the other room like, is here down. Yeah, we don't have the door in this position yeah. in the other room, so you've got like the whole more length, no, I don't know. No, it's just here down. Oh, so, got the so what's the difference, the tree? Uh, we have a doorway, don't we, in the other room, where the tree is. So you have the door through to the kitchen there. Yeah, oh, so it's the same same length. But yeah, but from here down, it doesn't have this. No. No, yeah. So, oh, so it will fit then, because it was going to fit in the other room. Yeah, oh, but we don't want the trees there. That's the yeah. issue, the trees there. So it, it can come all the way up to here. Yeah. And it would fit in, but because we've got the tree in front of the radiator, it won't fit. But it will fit when the tree's not there. Got ya. I got confused. I don't yeah. know. Kind of. We'll just see when it comes. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so we're thinking of putting it along here. And basically it takes up the hole. But what it is, it's really cool, it's a pod sofa. Oh no, that was so it. Yeah, we measured it and it doesn't fit with the tree. Yeah, it does. So, it sorry, I got really confused. It doesn't fit with the tree, but yeah, yeah go on. What you're going to say makes no, sense. No, it's a pod sofa, so we've got four sections to the sofa and we can rearrange it whichever way we want. So in this room, we'll just have the two corner sections together and then we're going to have like another section here and another section there. It'll be like a bed. It's going to be incredible. It's literally going to be like a square bed. Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, But yeah, we're really excited to get that. Um, but like we said, we have just been thinking what we're going to do with these two rooms because we've got this, which is like a gorgeous, lovely lounge room. But then we've got the room next door, which is like a smaller potential lounge, but it like leads through to the kitchen. So you've got like that nice open plan vibe. But then also we love this room and the shape of it and the size, yeah. um, especially because obviously we're having a baby girl in April and we're thinking about where's going to be the best social space for us. So. We're just literally going to think of it all, but it's good that we're going to be yeah. putting the sofa in here so we'll be able to see it, what it's like in here. We just think potentially here, big loungy sofa, TV above the fireplace, and then we've got so much space, you mm. know, we could even move the piano out, but we'd have so much space then on each side of the sofa for like lots of play space. Because mm -hmm. we, you know, like, and then it's nice then because we can sit here and chill, watch TV and have the baby playing around, which doesn't matter for the first six months because they don't do nothing. <laughs> Once they start growing up, they start moving around a bit more, don't they? <laughs> Basically, yeah. So, James has just come down from the shower, and oh, yeah. we totally forgot that we haven't mentioned today's giveaway. <laughs> James was... <laughs> She's wagging her tail. Um, James was going into the shower, and obviously we have... Um, we are living out of this like space at the moment. We have no kitchen. We have no kitchen and um, we have like, we gather all our things that need washing up and we put them in the crate and then um, wash them. And and stuff, not yeah. dirty clothes. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then wash them in the shower or bath. We kind of just sit there. We're like, I'm going to go for a soak in the tub. And I go, oh, I bet you've got to wash at least three plates and four sets of cutlery. And then you just lie there and the cutlery and place just kind of float around. It's actually really <laughs> lovely. I it's wouldn't the most know. relaxing washing up I've ever done. I wouldn't know because I haven't done any yet. So I haven't done any. James has done it every time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I really need to get my act together and do it. So he brought his, to go into a shower, he brought his stuff up. And I was like, no, James, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it today. You leave that there when you get out the shower and I'll hear you and I'll run upstairs and I'll do the washing up. What did I do when you got out the shower? Sat here knitting a Christmas pudding. I, I can't expect you. The difficulty is, I, I was joking before, please don't actually think I bath. With <laughs> people items. will because you kind of I kind of bend over the the bath and I do it with the shower head yeah and obviously you can't do that being pregnant you can hardly bend forward at all so it's just not happening so <laughs> I'm more than happy to take this chore on as my responsibility you really have been doing a great job and I it wasn't that I sat here knitting my Christmas pudding on purpose I just forgot but then I just forget every day and it's not good enough no, anyway it's my, it's my job I take that chore on you can take on the chore of knitting Christmas decorations yay okay. Okay. You know, I, I would hate to do that. So yeah, you would, yeah. Actually I'm coming closer that. because it's blurring you out okay. in the background and it's bugging me. So we have a giveaway in today's video like we do in every video in December. I think today's a pretty good giveaway. They're all good giveaways. Today's one of our favourites because I feel like 
They changed our lives. They changed, it changed our lives. So we thought we, so this wasn't a gifted giveaway. We bought this ourselves because we just thought it's a product that we love. So today's this giveaway is, really sad. is a pair of AirPods. We just love our AirPods, we don't we? Love our AirPods. They just changed my life. Yeah. So we are That's happy to are. Uh, ship these anywhere worldwide. Um, so if you to enter our giveaway, yeah, leave a comment below, including your Instagram addy, your Instagram handle, so addy. that we can DM you. Um, or if you don't have Instagram, you can leave your email address and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. You cannot enter if you are not subscribed. And we'll pick the winner in 24 hours from the video going live. Good luck! Good luck, guys! <laughs> so we're just about to head off into town. We just had an appointment with um, a shutter company because we're looking at getting some shutters done in here. Now, on this window back here, the windows in this room are massive. Um, we're actually <laughs> we're going to an appointment at a curtain, um, like custom curtain place, because on this window, we'd really like some curtains. This is like a linen see-through mm. curtain, but like we said in the last video, it's tiny. It's not the right size for the window at all. Um, but we want that kind of vibe just custom made for the whole yeah. uh, width and length. And then this side, um, we're thinking shutters. So mm -hmm. we just had someone quote for shutters all over, but they're split into different panels and you can bifold the shutters completely back so you can have it as open or as closed as you want. And great. although it will remove a tiny bit of light from this room, we do obviously have three windows in this room, two are humongous. There's so much light in here. We can lose a little bit of light and it'll just give us that ultimate privacy and we can keep mm -hmm. the tops open and the bottom shutters closed and everything. So we got that flexibility. So we think we're gonna go ahead with that, which is really exciting. Yeah, um, I think that is really exciting. I just yeah. thought, shouldn't we also then put a mini shutter on that small window, window just to match? Yeah, I know that would look good, wouldn't it? Well, we could just put wooden Venetian blinds. Yeah, because these are just the blinds that came with the house on this one and we totally forget about this window all the time. Which, they're fine. But then yeah. if we're getting wooden shutters, maybe we should change these up. This either to a wooden shutter or a wooden Venetian. Let's have a think about that. Yeah, definitely. That's a good idea. So we're in town, they've got all the Christmas market stalls and everything going. Really, look at everyone doing the monthly years of midday. It's so Christmassy. And um, we just went for a pizza hut. <laughs> Oh yeah, we didn't show that. No. We didn't show that one. Um, <laughs> we were meant to have something a bit healthier. Uh, that didn't happen. We just fancied a pizza. So we got the pizza hat. And we're actually eating a cow's parents tonight, so that should be a bit healthier. Yeah, they we said We are they... shielding with them here in Wales. They said they'd make sure we got lots of veggies in. Yes. <laughs> For me and the baby. What is you okay? I feel like I've got something stuck in my nose. Oh my gosh, it's making like a squeaking sound every time I breathe in. It's like, nah! <laughs> I, um, I have that sometimes, and you just don't know how to get rid of that noise. No! It just kind of, just kind of hangs around. So we're heading <laughs> off now down to John Lewis. Kelsey wants to pick up a couple of bits and bobs. And I'm gonna get a Yay! So I'm in John Lewis. I'm just going to find James. He's gone up to the tech section. I've been in the knitting section, guys. Of course I have. Getting all this cute wool. Look how nice this is. I'm gonna do some baby, baby pieces, like baby hats and baby, um, I don't know what. Whatever I can do, basically. Um, but I was talking to my mum yesterday about knitting and she was saying that you need to get like specific good um, material to knit with for baby stuff. So I picked up some specific baby like wool today so I can knit some things for the baby girl. Yeah, I can see James, he's talking to someone about a TV. Typical, typical. Hello! Hopefully they're not broken. Yeah. Hello! Oh, oh my oh. gosh! So we're back from town. Um, picked up some goodies, which I'll show you in a bit. I'm just gonna turn the rest of the Christmas lights on because if you watch our decorating for Christmas, I have every single thing like in this room basically has a fairy light attached to it. Um, so we've got the pumpkin tree, which is still a pumpkin tree, needs to be chained to baubles. That will happen soon. I've got my fake candles, all these need to go on. Just everything, everything, everywhere I must have a fairy light. Hello, Mila, I can hear oh, you. Guys, I think we put in the outside lights now. I'm I know. A dark. Get the outside lights on, boo. Get this festive. Merry Christmas. Why have you wrapped? Did you put them on? Yeah, you know that um, yeah. extension lead? That is a specific outside extension. No, it's not. It says on the back, do not have in wet conditions. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, I have got an outside one. We should have used the other one, not wrapped it in a bloody... <laughs> well, I know, but I spoke to the builder and he said to wrap it in a plastic bag uh, and it'll be fine. Fair enough. 
I was like, fares you doozy, I'll listen to you. Listen to the bell with that. There we go. One last little lamp to put on. You missed us. You missed us. Hello, I know. You're being very cute. So it's food time, see? Uh, it's ten minutes past food time. Hello. That's it. It's ten minutes past food time, hello. isn't it, baby girl? Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. So, we picked up a couple of things. Like I showed you, I picked up some knitting wool to knit baby clothes, which were all very cute. And I picked up some batteries, which was boring. And I picked up some more chocolates because we clearly are eating them all. Um, and then we picked up these and then from. We just pick things up. We just pick you them up. Things to us are just free. Just pick them up. Just pick them up. We just go, oh, pick them up. Don't I don't know why I say that. It's just like one of those sayings. You just pick it up, but actually didn't. You bought it. <laughs> um, they have all, like, we showed you the stalls and everything set up now in town. And at the top of the stairs, I'm going to run and show you, actually. God, James, don't run, you might fall. I won't, I won't fall. I'm taking precaution with the pregnancy. I'll walk carefully up the stairs. When was it, James? When did you get me this? I that, like, the first Yeah. It, basically, I think he, you got it from the same Christmas market, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I know we've showed you, actually, I think, oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, they sell these and they're made from real, like, wood and stone. Um, and they're meant to be little families. So that was me, James and Mila. Um, and we said the other day, oh my gosh, I get so out of breath from walking up the stairs now. Not that I didn't before pregnancy, so I don't know why I pretend that it's because of pregnancy. Yeah, we were saying the other day, we were like, oh, I have to get one of me, James and the... Dog, oh my god, I'm so up, <laughs> Me, so <laughs> This is because you're trying to hold, you know when people say things like, you know, you know mm. when you see people out on runs and they're having like a full blown convo? Yeah. You know, it could be a couple of ladies, a couple of guys, you know, <laughs> and they're out jogging, holding a convo, and I'm like, how on earth are you doing that? No, that's not we me. Because we go on a dog walk and we can hardly hold a convo. <laughs> You'd be able to hold a convo, wouldn't you? No, she wouldn't, she's there. <laughs> Actually, yeah, she pushes herself to the limit. You do, you push yourself hard on walks. Um, we were like, oh, we should get one of me, James and Mila and the baby. Um, so this is agreeably a little bit premature. No, um, that doesn't sound like us, does it? Because the baby's not born yet. But we got a bit excited and we did get another one to match. We got me, James and the baby. Oh, I look, do feel I like as if like, you and me are having a cuddle and the baby and Mila are just kind of, bye. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, we're yeah. <laughs> Mila and the baby are just chilling and we're... Do you know what? Let's assume that's our baby, you know, when it's maybe in like, you know, what are they called? Toddler? Toddler, where they just don't <laughs> know about you. What's it called? Teenager. Dangerous twos? That sounds like... Tantrum oh, twos? Tantrum twos. I yeah, remember. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> but anyway, that's the little one that we got to match. And Mila's also in a mood because of the fact that we've had another baby and she just wants oh, to be centre of attention. in there. I thought you meant now. I was like, sorry. No, now she's in a mood because we're not feeding her. And then we got another one because my sister and her girlfriend are kind of having like a, it's not a wedding, but they're doing like a ceremony where they're going to do a vows. Commitment ceremony. Yeah, a commitment ceremony. Yeah, a commitment ceremony for each other because they've bought a house together as well, which they're moving into, hopefully, fingers crossed, the beginning of next year, um, if everything goes smoothly with that. So they're doing like a little ceremony in December time and we thought we'd get them a ceremony present, which this caught my eye last minute as I was... Um, as we were literally paying for our other one and I was like that must be fake because this is just Perfectly sums them up. Sorry. It's really hard to show with the reflections Are we going to decide which one's Lauren and which one's Anna or? Um, oh, they can decide. They can decide. Yeah, can decide. I can't decide that, you know That special question and it's a little dog as well because my sister well It's actually our family dog, but it's turned basically into my older sister's he's dog. He's been adopted by your older sister. He was adopted by my older sister. Um, and he's about 800 years old. Um, and they have a little camper van that admittedly is not in as good shape as that. It's like a super rundown. Oh wait, you will, if you've been following our channel for a while, we did um, a video where we went, um, we just we did a night, didn't we? Hours. Tried to spend 24 hours in Bloody, Blodwin, their camper van. It's called Blodwin. Um, yes, and it is a little bit more battered than that, it was a but beautiful. It was a great experience, mm -hmm. but they absolutely love that camper van and they go everywhere in it. Um, so we thought this just summed them up so perfectly. So that's like a little ceremony present for them. I absolutely love them though. I just think they're so special. It's just something about them, isn't it? Yeah, they're just like so just simplistic, but mm. also just like really special. Um, anyway. Now we're just chilling at home, waiting for our sofa to arrive. Any time now, we're actually going to watch the last episode of The Undoing. Ah! 
I'm so excited about that. about that. I kind of want to wait until the new sofa comes though. I know. And test it out. But then, no, we'll watch a Christmas no. movie when it comes. Yeah, exactly. We watched Santa Claus when last night. Which After Carson putting up. That was his first time watching the Santa Claus. So we've got number two. Yeah. What's going to happen this time? Oh, who knows? He's going to turn it's into Santa years, again. eight years later. So he's been Santa for a while now. Wow, that's true. Yeah. Oh my god, I wonder what the story plot's gonna be Ooh, then. Let's not give it away if anyone hasn't watched the Santa Claus. <laughs> sofa has arrived. Oh yeah, we're just quickly moving the room around, but the sofa is about to be delivered. Oh my goodness. The sofa's bloody massive. What's oh there? my, what have we done? Why have we bought a giant white sofa? Don't even comment. I didn't think it was gonna be this white. Really? I didn't think it was gonna be this white. Oh yeah. I always think we end up going for like oatmeal and then it just turned, it turned no, bright white. I remember choosing the colour and it was like bright white. Wow. What it's not even mean? bright white, but it's just so light for a sofa. Yeah. So I will say the bulletproof word again. Mm -hmm. We were sold this sofa on it being bulletproof. So like we had been to this shop so many times yeah. and the whole point of the fabric that we got it in was that it's like wipe downable and they say like pens, red wine, anything. You're meant to wipe be able to wipe off the sofa um but what james what have we done yeah i just feel like We've we may be constantly wiping you know what you sometimes you just have to make mistakes it's in life like, even things like we it wear looks amazing of black and so there is black cotton on it already i mean it's black <sighs> we got a black dog i think we have to create a formal lounge with no dog and no baby just to protect our sofa but it's so nice look at it i know it is lovely it's so nice <laughs> this is going to take me some getting used to. This is my dream sofa. Is it? Like fully. Like okay. I look at this and I'm like, this is heaven. This, 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 this is, is heaven. Yeah. It's like lying on a cloud. Just, it's not even organised. Just the infill, the footstool. Just, I would just love it. I'm so in love. Good. Like Good. it's my heaven as a sofa. No trainers on the sofa. Oh my gosh, it's just so big and Clean fluffy. Clean clothes only. Yeah, this is a practical James nightmare. I'm just already like looking out for marks big time to see if there's anything before we even get started. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so it is now two days later. We thought we would, you know, break in the sofa, set it all up, yeah, of course, and we then. Don't want to look too perky. We, t no. we don't. James just woke up if he looks like a sleepy mess <laughs> in the corner there. Um, and I've been working on a merch photo shoot as well this morning, and I did it in the lounge with the like Christmassy sofa setup. So I've left the merch in there. This is one of the pieces, by the way. Um, I thought we would do like a YouTube sneak preview oh my gosh this house is literally a mess apart from this one room a youtube sneak preview of all the merch which is coming out on the 11th of december which is friday the 11th okay so here is what we've set up this room like with the sofa and everything absolutely we're obsessed come on in, come on in to our new lounge it's quite an awkward angle so you can't really see it but we love it and there's the merch peeping over there so we have Four different sections to the sofa. We've got, hello, Mrs. Philomena. Hello, Mrs. This has still got to all be moved out, but not for a while yet. So we've got four different sections to the sofa. We've got two corner pieces, a footstool, and an infill piece. Now, the infill piece is gonna go in the middle, we yes. think, um, but obviously with the Christmas tree, we are literally just able to fit that in, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, the infill piece will hopefully go in in the future and we'll have just a bit of a longer sofa there. A long sofa, and then the footstool creates kind of like a mini L shape, just because we haven't got enough width to create an actual L. The footstool just adds a nice sort of yeah. L element. We absolutely love it, guys. It is so white, it is so dreamy, the colour, but I have to say, so we've been living with it now for two days, haven't yeah. we? I got a little anxious the instant and it came, I was like, what on earth have we done? James was Getting worrying. The sofa, but I absolutely love it now. I feel like any big decisions I make, I kind of get anxious early on. Oh yeah, definitely. I did it with well, the smiles as well in the kitchen, didn't I? It's just bright white, isn't it? Yeah. And we were, at, we were just panicking so much that it was going to be just brown within a day. But to be fair, we've had quite a lot of marks on it so far. And although I did take the mick out of me for saying that word bulletproof, I do feel like it's pretty bulletproof. Like we use this, oh, it's outside, it's in the other room, but we got this damp yellow cloth that we use and I've wiped off a crazy amount of stuff. But um, basically Mila jumped onto the sofa, she left some mud marks on there and I just wiped them off with the damp cloth and it was so good. And then this morning I was doing loads of pictures by here. Um, I'll pop up some of the photos. I got fake tan yeah, I guess. all over here. It was like bright orange and I was literally like, 
Uh oh, James is gonna. I saw you gonna... doing it, and I was like, she's definitely fake tan. Yeah, I'm look, fake tan all over there, it's and I was like, uh oh, let's hope this wipes off. Boom, wiped off like a blooming baby wipe, wiping off a something on a tile. It was crazy. It's so so good. I'm so happy, but obviously we are like two days into having the sofa, so we'll have to see how bulletproof it does remain. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how long that'll actually go on for, the bulletproofness of it, and maybe it will, like, I don't know, get a bit muckier over time. But for now, I'm feeling really... James is just eating the chocolate. He's yeah. just half asleep and eating chocolate. Really good. What happened to the fairy lights? Oh, did the builder turn? The electricity off. Oh, yeah, they must have just turned the electricity off. Sorry about that. And <laughs> my atmosphere's gone. The other thing I wanted to show you guys was these. So these are our merch. Should I turn them around? They're behind the light at the moment. No, I think you can see them pretty well from here. Um, so these are, we've got four pieces releasing on Friday the 11th and we've got two teddy hoodies and we've got two half steps, which we are just like half steps are just, we it's release so them nice every single they? time. But this is a completely new design. Which <sighs> They're all designed by us. Um, and basically I think, I feel like, in one sense, I'm like, I hope people don't think it's unexciting because we do release, like, <laughs> half sips and hoodies every time. Yeah. But we've got I loads of... Teddy hoodie. I know, we it's did so Teddy. It's different as Teddy hoodie. It's so fluffy. It's not the same at all. <laughs> no, that is actually quite different <laughs> for us. But we've got loads of exciting things happening next year. And I was like, you know what, I want my, like, sort of merch release this year to be four items of mm. things that I class as, like, essential. Like, if you watch our videos, you yeah. will see me wearing a half zip like this. Almost every day, I wear them so often. And we're very much just people that wear hoodies, we wear jackets, we wear those sort of things. So, oh, we're, um, not, we're not a smart couple, are we? No, we're and we're not. leggings, t shirts, hoodies. We're not uber fashion forward either. No, so, it's like no. this is our version of like yeah. things that we wear over and over, time and time again. And we want to create the perfect versions of them. Um, so, with stuff like this, this is like all I freaking wear, and James wears them all the time as well. So, that's I, why we yeah. create so many of these. I love this in black. Oh, it's so smart, isn't it? Mm. So smart, and it's honestly the nicest material ever. And it's soft on the inside, but it's not too thick and fluffy and sweaty or anything like that. Um, so, it's just the perf... I just think it's the perfect... <laughs> the perfect... This is the way we quarters it. I love them. That's why I create them. And then, um, with the teddy jumpers, I absolutely love fluffy teddy stuff. But I have to admit, when I have myself bought this sort of stuff from other shops, I've been really disappointed by, my hair's getting everywhere, the insides of them. They are always super soft and fluffy on the outside. And for someone with sensitive skin, I get so excited. And then the inside is like this weird, strange material. And I'm like gutted because I thought it was gonna be like this on the outside, um, on the inside too. Um, Ta-da! So we have it on the inside as well. So it's like, so, it's literally like wearing a fluffy blanket. It's so nice. Um, soft. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And the cuffs are really nice as well. We adjusted these um, to make them like, just fit perfectly, basically. Loads of different samples we had made. And this is the other one, which I haven't tried on properly, which I feel like you can't see that as well. Oh yeah, that's a better, bit of a better lighting there. What would you call this, pink, peach? Like peach, I peach. freaking love the color of this. And I love like the, zip color as well it's like a, a vintagey brass and i just think it sets off the black and peachy color just so nicely mm. obsessed obsessed i know we keep it simple only four pieces and that is coming out on friday the 11th of december yes at 11 a.m uk time i believe awesome I think that is everything. I'm just like waiting to jump every day. I'm just waiting to jump on the sofa in the evening and just yeah. chill and watch it's TV. It's not helping with our productiveness, is it? Like <laughs> we kind of wake up in the morning, we come out and we go, we could just sit on the sofa all this. day. It's very inviting. Oh, and we didn't even talk about these. These are like the best things ever. Oh gosh, everything's the best things ever. I know. But look at them, they are so cool. So we got these from the shop that we got the sofa from and they're obviously made to fit perfectly on there. Um, as you can see, we don't have a coffee table in here. So we did choose to take the coffee table out just to give ourselves a bit more room. We don't want to encourage ourselves to eat, do we, on this no. sofa? When our kitchen's done, we'll just be eating on the dining table. There's no need for us to eat on the sofa. We don't need to eat on this sofa. Yeah. So, but we do need somewhere for drinks and like water bottles and everything in the evening. This is ideal. Cups of tea, water bottles, snacks, chocolate, everything. Thing. just goes on there happy days you're gonna finish off my chocolate bowl before i've yeah, even stopped filming 
Um, so we've got a couple more worky things to do today, so that is all that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So we will love you and leave you guys. I feel like I'm really like speaking really fast and I'm in a, a fluster a today, but I'm just, I've just done the biggest like merch photo shoot and they always make me so excited and so <laughs> excited for merch. I love releasing merch. I just get really excited by the fact that people love the products that we've created and that they get to wear the same ones as us. I don't know, I just find it really special. I've always loved I know, doing I need merch. to get mine on. Oh, and it says you are enough, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> I always forget to say that because I think Everyone that people does. know, but because we've had this for the longest time, but not everyone might. So it means you are enough. It says mm -hmm. you are enough even. It's meant to be like a subtle squiggle. And yeah, that's everything from us. We hope you like the sofa. We hope you like the merch. We will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. James is going to wake up in a bit. We hope you have a good day, guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.